Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Yua. And in today's video, I want to share with you my March BoxyCharm. So if you'd like to see everything that I got in my March BoxyCharm, then please keep watching. If you are new here, I do post weekly beauty, fashion, and lifestyle videos. So do subscribe to my channel. Also hit that bell notification so you'll be notified each time I upload a new video. All right, let's get started. So if you didn't know what BoxyCharm is, BoxyCharm is a monthly beauty subscription. They do have a bunch of like makeup, skincare and I feel like they're starting to have more lifestyle products but I feel like that part they're still in the transition phase but they do have a also quarterly subscription upgrade called Boxy Lux and that's what's going to be in my video today so March does land in that Boxy Lux Boxy Lux <laughs> um, subscription month where it happens every quarter so I'm going to show you guys everything I do get and if I didn't already mention, BoxyCharm starts at $25 per month for the base box. And for the quarterly, which is the BoxyLux, I believe it's an additional $25, $26. So it's about $50 in total for the quarterly subscription. They do also have another upgraded version called the Premium that also happens every single month. I unfortunately do not have that subscription, but I'm sure you guys exactly what I got in my boxy luxe. So let's get started. So here is the humongous boxy luxe box I did get in for March. Um, surprisingly, I feel like I got it pretty late. I usually get it in like the first week. I feel like I got it the second week. So I don't know what happened this month. I don't know what's going on, but mine was, I would say delayed. Um, in a boxy luxe, you usually get, I believe, five or more full-size products. I think that's what it is. And so let's just go ahead and get started. Also in every single boxy charm box, every month you get a little pamphlet or a little card that shows you exactly their month theme. This month's theme is pretty edgy. And then it also shows you on the other side, the exact box you got and what version. It looks like I got number eight. All right, and it also shows you exactly a little bit about what the product is, how to use it, and the retail price of every single product. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys. So the first item in my box, I got this Murad Hydro Dynamic Ultimate Moisture for Eyes. This was a option that I did get to pick, which is awesome. This Murad Hydro Dynamic Ulti Ultimate Moisture for Eyes retails for $70. And I do believe you can find this at Sephora. I did try it on today. I do have it underneath my eyes. And it is a cream. So it's super, super moisturizing. It is definitely thicker. I, like I said, it's a cream. Um, but for me personally, I love moisturizing products because I do have drier skin. Next in my box, I did get these two Brazilian creams one is the original bum bum cream which is the original like orange packaging these look like these are either travel size or it says it's a duo of the body creams i don't know if these are travel size i know these are not sample or yeah, i'm assuming it's travel size um this is the original and it also did come with the other one which is the coco cabana cream as well um i have already gotten these two products before i just think they were in different sizes i do love the bum bum cream which is the original one so much better the coco cabana cream uh, it's just too coconutty for me and it just the scent tastes not taste it smells really really like fake in my opinion so that's just what i think but i do prefer the original one so i'm glad i got it but i would have actually liked to get you know maybe one of the full size of one or the other versus getting one of each next item that i did get in my march boxy charm is this boxy charm hello charmer eyeshadow palette and this one was specifically made from boxy charm so unless you are subscribed to boxy charm it is it, I don't think they have it for sale, but I did try it on and I do have it as my eyeshadow today. And here are the shadows. There's a lot of mix between mattes and shimmers, which I love. And I feel like it's a very colorful, perfect for spring and summer. Um, my opinion on the actual formula and the quality, I feel like it's a decent, good palette. I don't think that it's probably the best thing. Um, if in comparison to, let's just say, products that I typically use, like for example, ColourPop, I would still prefer ColourPop's formula over this palette. But of course, this is BoxyCharm's first eyeshadow palette, and I do really appreciate it. I feel like they're trying to be a little bit more unique and trying to give you even products that they themselves produce. So I did 
enjoy it. I will say that for the like metallic or shimmer shades, it did not work at all with a dry brush. You definitely have to go in with the finger. Like I use Sneak Peek right here, this more bronzier shade I did use on my lid. And um, I did use all of the mattes in here, Unboxing, Premium, Spoiler and Cup of Joe as my eyeshadow today. And the mattes worked fine. I just don't think it's the best quality, but I do appreciate that BoxyCharm is trying to do something different and unique, and I did. My next product that I did get is this PMD Smart Facial Cleansing Device. It retails for $99, which is expensive. Um, this is a smart facial cleansing device, and it's supposed to help clean, lift, and firm and tone problem areas. I have been using this for over a week and I have been enjoying it. I definitely prefer this more of silicone material versus something more abrasive. I do have drier skin, so I do exfoliate more than the typical person. I would say two to three times a week. And although I do like the silicone material better, I still have to use it in conjunction with like a facial scrubber. So instead of me going with my hands to just scrub this, I use this PMD cleansing device instead and I have been seeing good results I don't think it's the best where like for me I've used different a lot of different devices and different products in the past to exfoliate my face but it still does a good job so you know but for a hundred dollars I would definitely wait to see if there's a sale because I find a lot of cheaper, more affordable options like on Amazon, even from Ulta. But if you do have this go does go and sell I think it's a nice option. There are different settings as well. And it does have this little cute kind of like, I don't know, stand that it just, you can have it sitting up like this if you don't want to lay it down. So it's a cute option. I really, really am glad that I did get it in my BoxyCharm. Otherwise, I don't think I could get myself to pay $100 for this device. Next, I did also get this NARS Power Matte Lip pigment this retails for $25 it is the shade that I do have on my list I feel like it's a very beautiful kind of pinky purple kind of neon -y, and it really truly is a pigment my only thing with this lipstick is the actual lip brush that it comes in it's very um it's very awkward it's not something I'm used to I feel like it's very very stiff and it doesn't have a really good shape to it for for the, your lips. I, I don't know how people can put this on easily, but I do like the shade. It is super, super pigmented. As you can see, um, I did put on a moisturizer before this, so I don't know if that had anything to do with it, like it not being super drying because it does say that it's a matte, power matte lip pigment. So my lips aren't super dry right now because I think I had like lip balm and moisturizer on already. But I think it's really pretty. I do like the color. Next, I did also get this Becca Glow Glaze Stick. So this is a glow stick. Basically, um, the product is inside. You can go ahead and spin it up. And it is a glow stick. So it's very creamy. And um, I did put it on the temples. Not the temples. On top of my cheeks where the highlight wouldn't usually be and on my bridge of my nose my only thing with these type of products that are very creamy is that it kind of disrupts my foundation and if i have powder on and i didn't see that as much on my cheeks today but for some reason i saw that on my nose and it could be because i powdered my nose down um i didn't powder down my like my cheek area so i do see it it's very 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 natural looking so on camera you guys probably won't even notice but it's supposed to give a very natural glow which i know that's the whole point is that it's supposed to be an ultra sheer translucent highlighter that imparts a dewy glass like sheen to the skin i think this is a really pretty product and i think it could be very useful especially if you want a very natural glowy look but my only thing is it does not work well with powders and i always have this problem with cream products so i mean let me know what you guys think about cream products especially Especially cream highlighters I know it's definitely the season during spring and summer to have more of these creamier um, glowy glow within type of products I'm glad that a lot of brands are bringing more of these products but for me personally there's still certain areas I still have to powder down and it doesn't work that well on top of powder but let me know what you think about you know these cream products are you for it? are you right and I also did get this crystal clear let me I want to get the exact word invisibobble the original traceless hair ring. So I've been actually very intrigued with these type of um, hair bands here. They call it hair rings, but like hair bands where they're 
in this like spiral shape and what I really like about them is they really can expand and if you take them off they actually recoil and go back to the original shape so they don't really take up a lot of space and what I really like is that it doesn't leave those little lumps in your hair like with the typical rubber bands or hair bands where they'll leave like a line demarcation in your hair if you've worn it for a long time. I am wearing one right now and I really do like it. My only problem with this is of course if you're going to the gym or if you want to stay in like a high ponytail these are not the best to use. I think these are great for like if you're gonna go take a bath and you have to put up your hair or if you want to wear it overnight but you don't want to get those hair like those hair lines that hair bands usually leave then I think these are nice and this did retail for eight dollars it came in a set of three which i'm like mm, yes and no for three it, it, i feel like it's a little i mean regular hair bands i feel like it's five dollars for like 20 or something like that so you know i feel like that's still kind of expensive lastly in my box i did receive these earrings these are the zaxi or zazy i'm not i'm not sure if i'm pronouncing that right zay zay or zay by Stephanie Taylor play it by ear pave hoop earrings and these are really really pretty they do have embellished and stones actually on the where you're seeing I don't know if you guys will see it they do have embellished um, little diamonds in the front and they actually have it on the inside so if someone is facing you they will see that there's there's actually embellished diamonds in the front and inside. My only thing is I'm not really a hoop earring person. Um, it feels really awkward to me because it's just not my style. I'm more of a studded earring kind of person. Actually, I, I'm not that amazed or I'm not that, like it's an okay month for me. Um, I, I honestly am disappointed in probably half of the products like I could have lived without more than half of them as you can tell I only liked really three products of my seven or eight products and the other products like the earrings and the hair bands I could have really lived without them um, I know that as with any subscription you're gonna get items that you're not gonna necessarily like but I'm kind of disappointed in this month's box I feel like if this is the transition that we're going forward with I'm not sure if I'm going to continue using BoxyCharm anymore just because I feel like if you know with any boxy with any subscription you're basically yes if you're paying for cheaper value for items that are worth way more but if I continuously get products I don't want or need or necessarily even want to try I, I think that defeats the whole purpose and I don't think I should be even wasting a dollar on a, on a subscription if I don't even like the majority of the products in there. I mean, that's just my opinion. How do you feel about that? Um, did you like your BoxyCharm for the month of March if you are subscribed? Other than that, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Other than that, I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.